Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the stairs and added the powder room, the sink, and some doors. Now we're going to continue working on this by going to the kitchen and adding um, the kitchen stuff with the cabinets base and above so we could start by adding a section so save that first and then let's add in a section right here so by adding the section now we'll be able to see what's uh, going on right here but before that let's add in the base so what we could do is we could go to architecture I'm going to click this um, drop down under component and you will need to click on model in place. By clicking on the mo uh, model in place, we will now select generic model. So click generic models and then press OK. And uh, you don't need to worry about uh, the names much. Um, you could just leave it at generic model number one, but it's up to you if you want to organize everything. So now we could click on this um, extrusion, and then once you click on extrusion, you can then now click on rectangle, and then here we're going to add in the the base. So we're going to add the base like this. Um, let's see how, how big it is. Then let's just move it all the way with the same depth here. So this is basically, let's check it. This is around 890 or 880. So that's perfect. We're going to add an 880 base. And after that, the length of this, and it's around 3,500 for the uh, width or the length. So after that, click on finish. And then don't click finish again because we need to add in some voids. Um, it's better if we could go to our 3d so we are here our 3d and for the height let's put this one around 900 so it, it is extruded from the base 900 and then now we need to add in our void so here I'm gonna click on void and then void extrusion and then I'm going to set a plane and then I'm going to pick a plane, press OK, and then select this side. It should be on the side of this extrusion so that we can add in the kick plate right here, which is going to be around, we could do 100 and then click this one around 80 so 80 by 100 so that will be fine and then now you can click finish and in terms of the extrusion part you can grab this instead and then just move it all the way at the end like that so once you do if you cannot see it we could just change it to hit it so once you do now you can click on cut geometry and it will disappear. Now you will have a cut plate like that. After this, um, you will need to set your materials first. So press escape, select this, um, choose your material. Um, let's add in a wood material and then let's put in birch glossy. 
apply and then OK and then click finish. Now we're, we're done with we're done uh, with the base for now. And then what we can do after is we can add in our top. So here what we could do is we could click on architecture and actually we could just select this one as well. It's not a problem. We could just edit type and we could add in another extrusion on top of this. So now if you click extrusion, um, if you set it on the top of this, you can, you'll be able to set it as well. So it's better if you click on 3D set it so once you set it pick a plane and you're picking it from this plane after that you could go back to level one because we already set and you wanted it to be at the top of this now we you just need to click on rectangle again the same uh, line like that and then now you just need to put 25 so once you click that and go to your 3D, you'll see that it added a top there. And then here, you just need to set your material to a stone. So let's go to stone and set our materials. So we could use filled stone and then apply and then OK. And as you can see, and then we can click finish finally so that everything is done. So in that one um, model in place, you'll be able to uh, create the shell. So the base shell, the top shell, uh, the top work surface, and then the um, void form. So that's really nice. We'll be able to do that again. Um, by going to uh, our section and adding the the front of the or the top um, case for this kitchen. Um, before we do that, we could we we could add in our sink. Um, let's go to insert load family and. We're still under sink. Uh, the sink is under uh, plumbing, architecture, fixture, and sink. So you could still find it there. And then um, choose one of the sink here for the kitchen. And we could add this triple. Press OK. Open. And then now let's add it. So let's go to level 1. Type in CM, spacebar to rotate, and then let's add it around in the middle, like so. So something like that. And then because we have our section already set up, you can just click it there. And we need to set, make sure that it's showing at the top. So we could move it upwards for now. AL align it from the top here and then from the bottom of this. After that, another uh, thing again is we need to edit the, the base cabinet. So now let's go back to level one, zoom in, select this, edit in place. So because we're editing in this place, we need to void this for form. Um, let's set this one at the top of this counter. And then now we're going to go and add in a void form like so. So let's use rectangle. And then let's add this void form. And then click on finish. Don't click finish yet because we need to see and extend. So we could extend upwards and downwards. So I think that will be good enough. And then click 
cut geometry. And then now at least you'll be able to see what's going on there. And you'll be you able to cut in from whatever um, solid you have here. So now you can just click finish. And we have our uh, sink right here. So next, go back to level one again. Or let's go back to our section. And then let's finish adding um, our top or our cupboard. Uh, let's go to our architecture model in place and then generic model. Click on generic model number two, depending on the name you want. And then you need to set it. Um, pick a plane which is this plane so which is the wall and then click extrusion you want it to be 500 extruded from the wall and then click here and then now just create your um, case uh, I want it to be aligned here, so I type in EL and then align it here so that everything is aligned all together. Press escape and then now let's set up the height properly. So I'm going to put it around 850. And then let me pull this up. So I'm just estimating the height. And then, in terms of material, I want it to be the same um, mat wood materials. So I believe that was birch, so it's already here. So birch glossy, press OK, and then we have it there. Now, we could just click Finish and then finish again look for your 3d and as you can see it's look nice we can also change in so i'm just going to edit click this um, we could put 450 and then click finish on that go back to your section two so let's add in another one, but the top portion. So model in place, generic model. And then this will be another extrusion, pick a plane, this wall again. And then let's add in this one. And then for the extrusion part, let's put in 800. and then make sure to change this um, i don't know the the color yet but we could just put in something like in this paint uh, we we could just use this for now or in spiel and then click finish and then finish and let's look at it what we could do is we could just um, um, align this one as well so AL because it doesn't look nice if it's more than that so basically the same one as uh, the base so that's good enough I'm happy with this the look we could uh, put in some uh, lights at the top here so let's finish this um, by adding in the cabinet doors. So go back here, model in place. This will be another generic model. Okay. And then we will be adding an extrusion onto the face of the top. And then here, we're gonna use a rectangle 
and then let's offset this to 10 and then let's select it like that so this is outwards so I want it to be inwards so I'm gonna click on spacebar so it's 10 millimeters from the um, inside so now after that uh, we could set this one to birch as well so we could use birch glossy as well similar to the uh, the base or the uh, the case now let's click on the line let's look for the midpoint and from the midpoint we could click here and then put in five and let's click it here and outside and then delete the ones in the middle so that's only for our um, so that we could check it and then after that you just need to divide everything so depending on what you want we could click on this and then let's divide everything by let's see 400 or let's see around maybe 600 will be good yeah let's do 600 and then another 600 and then yeah, that looks good and then click here and then now let's divide it by 10 so that everything is according to that and then now SL click that one so we need that um, gap here and then below as well and then TR so we need to trim everything so let's do the below first when we're trip, uh, trimming so that's TR that's the short for trim and extend and then let's do the top portion this one's done and then let's do this side okay so now that's done we could now click we need to just have it extruded 25 millimeters so that's fine with me click finish and then finish again and let's look at it at 3d so 25 is good enough it might be too too um too thick one inch so that's fine with me i'm happy with this so thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below